you're just locked down completely. And they go into the Life Stealer. And this is not a bad pick. A Life Stealer with the Mars. You know, you've got the potential here with the um, you know, the Blink Dagger that might be made on the Mars to we we've seen time and time again to get that arena of blood down the blink arena spear, uh, even with a, a life stealer pick, to um, follow that up Ten and get the infest pop. Remaining. Jesus. <clears throat> Five seconds remaining. Got a bit of the hiccups there for a split second. So let's see what uh, Royal Never Give Up pick in this spot in the four, in the four spot for them. They need their mid. They need their safe laner. Up against the life stealer. And sometimes you do get rid of that morphling, um, potentially to. I uh, saw so somebody in chat say, it, "Go for the razor mid." Could do that. You don't want him just morphing into you and static linking you right back, or static linking your team. G-L-G-D. They go Spectre. And the Spectre here, a much slower play. I, I worry about that because some of these slower heroes that really don't get their, you know, themselves out of the gate Ten end up just remaining. faltering. Five seconds remaining. So, fourth pick from LGD. They've got their one, three, and we'll see if that's their five. Again, they could throw the, all of a sudden the silencer over mid, and you know, we wouldn't be able to tell just at this moment, but that won't be the case. They go to the Storm Spirit. They do lock in the Storm early in the draft, and they, they've got the ball lightning in with the Infest. Global Silence is also there for them. Could line up to be a very high-paced game from LGD. And I wouldn't be surprised. You know, Storm did just get played by RNG and they put against the Death Prophet. I could Five see that being the ban here for LGD. PSG, LGD and they ban the DK. So Razor's still available. Death Prophet's still available for your mid heroes. Well, let's Five see what LGD want to do. Remaining. Are they are they tricking us with this draft? Are they throwing the Mars in the four and the Silencer in the five? They're not. They're putting the Silencer into the five, the Nyx into the four, Mars three, Storm two, Life Stealer one. So that'll be a Chalice Life Stealer. Storm played by Somnus. Mars on old 11. FY on the Nyx Assassin, X Nova on the Silencer. Ten seconds remaining. So definitely seconds a lot remaining. of people here to pick up the Life Stealer and drop him into the hands of the side of Royal Never Give Up. So let's see what Royal Never Give Up are gonna go for over mid. You know, will it be that razor? Will it be potentially the Death Prophet that uh, so screwed them in the previous game when they were playing the Storm Spirit on Setsu? And they go TA. You now select your heroes. So Templar Assassin for Setsu. Monet on the Spectre, September on the Phoenix, Super on the 5 position, Shadow Demon, and Flyby on that Centaur. 
uh, for the second time. So we'll see if RNG can even up the series at one or if LGD are going to finish this one up 2-0. That first game easily theirs. And now we go into the second game to see if they can close through this as quickly as they did the, the prior one. 30 minutes, 24-12 to 12 in that first game. LGD. Right now with the 1-0 lead poised to take the series. And we'll see if they can do so here. In just a moment. Before we get started, I just want to say again, thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate you guys. I'm your caster, Bcop, at Bcop92 on Twitter if you're looking. If not, I told you anyway. And I uh, hope you enjoy this, this game and this series. Winner of this series plays IG next. That should be a fun one. Um, Vici plays IG Vitality tomorrow at 11 and then the loser of this plays Team Sirius at 2 and then the winners of those series play each other at 5am Eastern Time so that's the schedule for tomorrow So no early game pause coming out for us uh, on this one. We've got LGD looking rearing, to, looking ready and rearing to go. FY going into the orb of Venom to start as well as that impel. He's made a decision immediately, and the headdress picked up for X Nova. I wonder uh, what we're going to see here from the silencer early on. Life Stealer setting up towards top. We've got the bottom lane picked up here by Old Eleven. No surprise on this Mars. He'll be up against this Spectre. I could see the Spectre getting railroaded in this lane. If uh, if Monet doesn't play too carefully, and the question becomes, you know, who's joining? Thirty seconds to battle. Old eleven on this. It could be Fy. No, an impale and a spike carapace into a spear. God's rebuke. All of a sudden, a lot of damage coming forward here for the side of LG Dina Lane. Why I will take this outpost. We'll set up to grab it right back, and it should be two bounty runes apiece. They do grab the outpost. That'll give the bounty runes over to the side of RNG. The bounty runes here picked up by Old Eleven. They continue to just sit FY here over mid, and he also took up the Observer Ward. He's got his own on the cliff. He's going to sit. Let's see if maybe they can get an early kill here on to Setsu. Got the Static Remnant set. FY looking behind this TA. TA's got to be close. They're going to start it off with a Static Remnant and then an Impel, so Setsu immediately in trouble if he can land this stun. They go after the TA. Oh, FY, uncharacteristic. A big whiff, but still stay. I mean, if you're, I'm set to, I'm nervous. I don't want to die. That's for sure. As FY continues to just babysit. And meanwhile, bottom old 11 taking a lot of damage early on. So he's forced back a bit. I think if FY hits that stun, maybe they get themselves first blood, but not the case. And then... The all chat chuckle. Old Eleven forced to pop that salve, and early on it's the glaives here for X Nova. Just getting some harassment out onto the Phoenix, of all things. September level one going into the fire spirits. Big shots hit on a flyby. Fire spirits come out on X Nova. 
Glaives do some damage with the open wounds out on a flyby, but the Fire Spirits make sure X Nova really can't throw much damage his way. They don't have an Icarus Dive available on this Phoenix, so the damage followed up by Chalice, who has open wounds in 8 seconds. So surviving right now, at least, is September, and he does not have Fire Spirits for another 20 seconds and is forced to south. Spectre sitting low. Spear missing Monet. Hold 11 now out of mana. He's got four stick charges. So, I don't have enough to get a God's Rebuke in. Monet coming over. Old 11 sitting low. Meanwhile, Life Stealer over top. He's taking some damage. Shadow Poison thrown by Super. FY trying to find out who he really wants to go for. And he might not even choose Monet. He's got Spike Carapace if Monet tries to throw a shot. And they'll have the impale to follow that up. Meanwhile, the Shadow Poison stacks are only at one onto Old 11, but he gets the Disruption as well as another Shadow Poison stack out onto the Mars. Will it be enough to get the kill? Wand is on cooldown, and one more stack. Pop it for the first blood, and there it is for Super. Super with the long chase to get that one. Mars will be back in a lane with full health, full mana. We'll see what he'll be able to accomplish. Somnus and Setsu hitting level 4 at about the same time. Somnus grabs a salve. He's also got that mango. He's gone through that bottle pretty quickly. Mars taking a lot of damage. Old 11 though. Can he turn this on to Monet? FY has Impale in just a second. Who are they going to find? They'll go after the Shadow Demon. God's Rebuke is used. The Spear lands onto the Shadow Demon. Do they have the damage to get the kill? They do. FY will get credit to kill off Super. And FY still in the run and surviving. Salve from L Old Eleven will keep him in lane. And I mean, for the side of LGD, that's a nice little kill there and a little bit of a boost for this Mars. So I'm trying to get over to this rune if it is indeed bottom, but it's towards top. September will go all the way towards top to pick up the invis rune and get it out of the hands of Somnus. So having that power rune control, making sure that that bottle stays empty. Pull comes in from X Nova. Get the creep equilibrium back in their favor. Structures are fortified. So being chased, but not sure it will matter all too much. Oh, the impale! FY! Wow. Uh, that was beautiful. Always impressed. Electro Vortex comes in on a Setsu, and now they're going to turn with X Nova near. Impale lands the last word out on a Setsu. Can they get the kill onto the TA? They're chasing, and only level 5. The Silence comes in. September trying to body block, but onto the high ground, Setsu will get. I'm not sure that will matter. The Wand trying to keep him alive, but FY right clicks not there. Does he have a stun? He does. So the TP is a well, ambitious one at that. And Somnus takes out the Templar Assassin, keeping his own life while September can only just watch as the TA dies. Mars and Somnus will walk back to base. This challenge continuing to just farm over to its top, sitting at 32 and 3. Avoids the hoof stomp with a nicely timed rage. X Nova gets the triple stack. Look at him go. Gotta make sure that they are, are able to hold on to that stack as well. Don't want that to fall in the hands of the TA. Boost up her farm to go into Treads and then the Desolator. Right now, just two to one. Pretty quiet early on. 
flyby. He's seeing level 6. Those have that stampede. Got Chalice ready with the infest. And we've also got the level 6 available here for Somnus. September sitting just level 3. As is X Nova though. FY at level 4. And compare that to the supports. It's a bit of an advantage here for LGD in terms of experience. This game has not been too aggressive from either side just yet. So we'll start to look over towards mid with the rotation coming in from FY, but not fully committing just yet. Meanwhile, bottom. Look to go in on the old 11, and he'll need some help. Spear does land on the specter to that tree, but old 11 hit with a disruption. Is it going to be enough? Arcane Curse. Monet moving forward. May not be the play that he should be going for, though. Use the stampede. Monet committing to this. Old 11 getting low. The spear locks him to the wall. So now the impale follows it up. And Monet now on the run on the cliff. And this is a big problem here for the Spectre, who will end up dead. A double kill here for Somnus. So 4-1 to in the favor of LGD. Dyer's middle tower. Under They've got themselves a kill advantage, but not a net worth advantage for the moment. And that's probably due to the fact that TA is having a, a good game above Somnus for the moment. But Somnus is going to go for the stack, clean it up before TA has any say about it, and takes out the triple stack very quickly and easily. Treads picked up now on the storm. Bottom old 11 has the arena of blood, but doesn't have mana for it. He does have soaring, so he could drop it at any moment. We'll see what they're able to do if they do try to pressure onto this mark. They look over at flyby. They've got the electric vortex ready to pull in flyby. Keep them close. Spike carapaces pop. They'll get the kill here onto the centaur. And they've got themselves a 5-1 to one lead. They can look over bottom now. X Nova with the last word as well as the Arcane Curse. Get the disruption to avoid the spear. Monet trying to move forward, but the arena blocks him out. And that is a defensive arena coming in from Old 11 to start this one off for him in this game. Switch it over to the net worth. About 9.5 minutes in. We see that Centaur is leading the way for the moment. But 10 minutes in... Things, at least so far, looking cool, calm, and collected for LGD. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Nova rotates, trying to time this right so nobody can take away this Ooh, outpost. He's got the timing right. He might give up his life for this, but. Grab the experience from the outpost. They control both of them. And that's a, a big advantage early on. Yes, he gives up his life, but at the same time, he's happy with that. Storm Spirit coming over. A spectral Dagger is thrown out. And Sinus is going to commit to this TP. Ball Lightning comes all the way through. He looks over at Super. The disruption is onto himself. I'm not certain that that was the way he wanted to do that. I think he wanted to disrupt Somnus. He's got a good chunk of mana left to go and leave. I'll also bring X Nova back into the mix. Yeah, that did not uh, feel exactly like uh, that was what they wanted from that shadow demon. Go comes in on the Setsu. He's going into the Blink Dagger first, not the Desolator. And now they'll find Monet again. He's got the last word. Stampede comes in. Does he have the distance? He does. Throwing into that Necro book. That does a lot of damage in to Somnus as he kills those Necro creeps. They look over towards mid. Flyby comes over. The Impale misses. Now he's trying to set up to get himself a hook stomp, but they look over the TA. TA low. TA dead. Now will they get Somnus out? He gets away, but the haunt is there. The Spectral Dagger comes in. They'll look for the kill out of the storm. The Ball Lightning won't keep him alive, and now he'll haunt to the other side of the river to get away from the side of LGD. 
They take out the storm, they take out the silencer, they lose the TA. Spike Carapace stuns up the Shadow Demon. They've got the arena down, and they'll take out Super so quickly. Now they look over to the focus Monet. But here comes the Phoenix, September not level six, so he doesn't have the supernova to go with. The rage is used by Chalice. He doesn't want to commit to this. Fly by September, both right there. Now they need to run. FY trying to make sure that the Spike Carapace comes in onto both these heroes, and it will. Fly by gets hit. There's the impel as well as the God's Rebuke coming through. X Nova back into it. The Arcane Curse gets hit onto this Phoenix as well as the Centaur. And Spike Carapace gets used once again as FY survives. Illusion. Go, so still, even though it feels as though LGD are seemingly leading the way in this one, it's a, a net worth lead that is in the hands of RNG. And I think this is due to the fact that um, you know, the TA is farming really well, and as is the Centaur, and this is a lot different than the Centaur we saw in the previous game. You know, a Centaur that was more stationary and, and losing the lane and, and not being able to farm, but now sitting here top of the net worth and holding on to early phase boots going into the hood. Somnus. We're going to finish off that Kaya soon enough. They'll pressure the tier 1 tower over bottom. They haven't taken any towers on the side of LGD just yet. Glyph is used, but down it goes. Well, they've got the Blink Dagger ready on the TA, so will the TA do anything or do enough here with the Blink Dagger to get into that Desolator quickly enough is the question. Can they get on top of Setsu to slow down this farm? And even then, you know, Setsu and TA naturally just recovers so well. So that has been the case here due to the fact that, you know, Setsu has died twice but has still sat towards the top of the net worth ahead of this storm. It was 5-1-1. One, one. Take out the Observer Ward. Life Stealer. Pause the game is nobody's DC just yet. And now we're ready to go. Arcane Rune picked up by the Storm. He infests into a creep. Somnus now working with that Kaya going into the Bloodstone. Old 11 will finish off that hood and then from there go into the Blink Dagger. But they've got the Spike Carapace that lands on a September. He does have himself the Supernova. They'll use the Stampede and Setsu blinked onto the high ground. But there's just no follow up here from LGD to make him pay for that. Scanning. 15 minutes into the game, 9 to 5. Net worth still sitting about even Radiant's so far. Hit with some spirits, and there comes the arena. It doesn't actually block in this Phoenix. And now the Melt Strike just blowing up X Nova. The Global Silence gets committed to this one, which might have been a bit too forward as. They get the kill there on to X Nova and they get the Global Silence pulled out. Chow's continuing to farm here over bottom. He's going into a Desolator. He's just one Mithril Hammer away. And you see the damage that comes out very quickly here from the Templar Assassin. As they might even look to go for the TA. They do spot Setsu. Chalice, though, forward. There's the Haunt coming through as well as the Ball Lightning. They'll look over at the Shadow Demon. They've got the Disruption already used on the Mars. And they get the kill here. The Impale hits on a bunch of these heroes. It hits on a three of these heroes on the side of RNG. They get the kill on the Mars, but they lose the Phoenix as well as the Shadow Demon. The rest of the team coming forward. But now, Arcane Curse on them. Can they continue to move and look for the side of LGD? It's a two for one in the favor of LGD, but they do lose their three position. And... Take out that trap, extra 25 gold, and close to the Desolator here for Chalice. Oh, I 
timing onto the Phoenix. September locked up. Icarus dive away. Spike Carapace, Impale both missing. Old Eleven still trying to find something as they use the Stampede and he runs right through the arena. set up on Chalice, who has the rest of the Desolator flying out, going into the Heaven's Halberd afterwards. Got the Storm Spirit still looking for the Bloodstone. Finally coming towards bottom. They've got a lot of heroes here. Try and get out of this one, and we'll ball lightning far enough away. Somnus took a look over at Monet, who's continuing to farm, trying to get into that Manta style. He went into the Necro 1, didn't commit to the Necro 3, which is sometimes what we see from, say, like a Lycan uh, that's going into the Necro book, but a little different here for the Spectre, just trying to speed up that farm and uh, has that Necro 1 as well as the Yasha finished off. Storm now behind the Spectre, Centaur, and TA. TA sitting top of the net worth with, I believe, the Desolator finished, yep, and delivered. also has his Desolators. He's looking for the Heaven's Halberd to really quiet down this Templar Assassin. I think, uh, are they going to infest play here? It looks like they're just setting up towards top. Radiant's top tower is under attack. They smoke. Do they infest? Radiant are scanning. They do. This time the Nixassin does pick up the Meteor Hat. Two thousand net worth lead right now for the side of RNG, but they go for the tier one tower Dyer's over towards top. And we'll grab it for free so far, but the glyph on the tier one tower runs out bottom and a quick tower kill there. For RNG, and this is more time spent by the life stealer just infested in Somnus. Nobody's rotating over, and yeah, eventually he's gonna have to pop out. He finally does. Radiant structures are fortified. And they're just gonna take it to your two tower bottom. Now they start to rotate over, looking for Chalice. Haunt is used. Will they commit to the jump onto this life stealer? Spike Carapace comes out. There's the Spectral Dagger coming through. They get the kill into the life stealer. They've got the electric vortex onto the Shadow Demon, but the global silence comes in, and it's a little bit too late to save the life stealer. They've got the two man impale onto the TA as well as the Spectre. They continue to run. They've got the dust out. Spear hits. Ball lightning over. They go looking a little south to try and get the kill there on the super. They finally lose X Nova, and it's a two for nil in the favor of Royal Never Give Up. Roche they go, and I see a two for nil, but September surviving. And he still has Supernova to work with. FY, I'm not certain this is the spot you want to be in, but again, the ball lightning and the disruption staying alive once again. Super finally ends up dead. September back to life, full health, full mana after the Supernova. RNG still sending ahead at 2,000 net worth. Chalice getting kind of caught out there with his pants down on that one. Still sitting with that advantage here for the side of Royal Never Give Up. The 2k lead. They're hoping maybe with the Heaven's Halberds, they'll be able to deal with the TA. They get the quick kill on a September. Ooh, big frame drop there. 
lot going on, I guess. Tier 1 mid. Meteor Hammer gets dropped. They take it very quickly. Chalice gets the tower. They back out. And they cut this down to a 1,000 net worth lead. Cut it down to just about even. By Carapace, as well as the Hoofstomp coming through. They'll get the stun, but the Impale flies up on to Flyby. And does have this Manta style and going into the de the Diffusal Blade. And this game's so far sitting at even. You've got Halberd being built for the Life Stealer. I believe Halberd being built for the Mars. With the finishing touches being flown in by this Courier. So the question becomes, can they deal with the TA from this point? X next for the Nyx Assassin. Storm Spirit has that Bloodstone going into the Orchid, trying to get those silences out there with the Global Silence as well. But a lot of space being made here for the TA as well as the Spectre. But Storm getting ahead of the Spectre, who Somnus was kind of falling behind, and it looked like the Spectre was getting ahead by quite a bit. So Roche available. They do have that minus armor with the Meld Strike to come through and try and take this. They go by themselves right now. Monet in now with Setsu. They've got the scan coming in. Can LGD make anything of this? They're going to start to come over. Will it be in time? Super with a disruption. Yeah, they won't get into this. Well, 11 now on the run. They'll use the Stampede, but the God's Rebuke comes through as well as the Spike Carapace. Ball Lightning following it up. Setsu pops the BKB. Sound is on the run. They've got the arena going down. Supernova comes in. FY on the run, but he thusts is up. And he will end up dead. But it's just one. Potentially, I think, LGD are looking to reinitiate, but I don't know why. I don't know if they really can, but that's a Ball Lightning onto the back lines. Global Silence comes out. They'll get the kill into the Shadow Demon. They'll take out Super to start. Clumsy Net was out on September. Now they look over as the spear goes through this uh, centaur, but they still get the kill regardless. Sunray from September will just keep him close, but he won't end up dead. A buyback on the Shadow Demon, the ball ending forward. Look for the TA. They've got the disarm on him, so Setsu goes into the meld. They've got the God's Rebuke as well as the dust coming out from X Nova, who's on the back line. Spectral Dagger comes through. They get the kill on Setsu. Now they look over at the Spectre to get this Aegis out of the hands of Monet, and they will. Disruption from Super. They bought back, I believe, on these two sports as well as the Centaur. Now the Haunt comes in. They'll get the kill on the X Nova. Now Haunt over back over to Chalice. Chalice taking a lot of damage. He needs to survive on this, but the Sunray comes in and gets the kill. So Monet takes out this Life Stealer. It's cost him a bunch of buybacks, but it looks like they're going to come out at least even. As old 11 might be next. But work doing work. And now they've got the Meteor Hammer coming through on Monet. That slams down onto the Spectre, but it won't save the life of Old Eleven as the Spear misses again on the flyby. They'll use the Double Edge to get the kill there onto the Mars. Now they look over at this Nyx Assassin with the buyback being committed by Old Eleven. He buys back, but doesn't have a gap closer, doesn't have a way to keep up with them. He's got the Storm now, full health, full mana, Ball Lightning the to the Bounty Rune, and a TP over from X Nova into their jungle with the Outpost there. But what else is there to give? I'm not really certain that that should have been the move there from LGD, but the ball lightning. Oops. They will find Setsu again. They've got the Meteor Hammer, the BKB popping in time. They've got the Metal Strike coming through on the side. It's now the look over at FY, but now here comes Mars. Old 11 potentially making a play with that arena, but the blink out from Setsu is enough for him to get some space and survive. So now OGD continuing to commit on this bottom tier two. Is there anything that the side of RNG can do about this? They're only up 2,000 net worth, but a lot of these heroes bought back in that last exchange. The Centaur, Shadow Demon, I thought the Phoenix did, but he's got his buyback. That's my mistake. A bad call on my end. Invis towards top. They'll control this. 
and they will grab it and now the smoke comes in from lgd they've got storm sitting over mid with about full mana so he'll be able to join the fight if they come over they've got old 11 coming in with the arena coming through they've got themselves the global silence and now the acres dive comes all the way over as it goes around in a circle because of the global silence they'll get the blink away but now they'll look to get the rest Stampede is committed to this one as the Centauri buff back in the previous fight now needs to run. However, LGD really starting to take over this game. Take a look at where FY was, potentially looking to go in on a Setsu. He's trying to find this TA as Setsu sits over towards mid. FY cuts through the tier 2 and the tier 3 tower, and he's got his sights set on Setsu. So now, old 11, he's pressuring. You gotta think that FY is under your nose here with the that kind of forward posturing coming out from old 11. The only way that they would posture like that is if they knew they had the vision. So now they go to the tier 2 tower, they take it out very quickly, and all of a sudden what was slow objectively from LGD to start this game has been, uh, you know, all the outer towers gone. Spectral Dagger thrown to Chalice, but it won't commit any further for this. So Abyssal Blade being made next by Monet. Get these tier three items under your grasp as Mars gets the Orb of Destruction, Craggy Coat for the Life Stealer, and Mindbreaker for the TA. Those will be swapped around, and then we'll see who grabs what. Courier coming with the Orb of Destruction for the Life Stealer, I assume. Yes. Setsu does have a double damage here. Three force iteration still remaining on it. When they continue to farm over bottom to try and get this Abyssal Blade, and let's see if they can set up and posture the right way here for LGD. The game has been a, just about a 2,000 net worth lead the entire time. It really hasn't broken out more than that. It's just about finished here for FY. I said just about, but he's still 1,500 gold away from it. Throw sets you towards top. Somnus TP's back. But not that far back. They'll smoke up. They're going to look the pressure. They'll take out these creeps, and he should infest into the Storm Spirit and make their move. Everybody smoked up. Scan comes in. This could be a big fight. LGD looking to close in and potentially close this one out. Scan comes out. Still holding, and there's the ball lightning coming out forward. The Global Silence follows it up. They've got the Arena Blood. They'll take out Setsu to start this fight. He'll buy back immediately. Now they've got the Impel to hit, as well as the Meteor Hammer onto the Centaur. They'll take a flyby, and now they look over as the Haunt comes through. But what will it matter? The Haunt now over, looking for a couple of these kills. He's got X Nova slowed up, but he's disarmed, so he can't get the damage out onto this Silencer just to start this off. And now they'll look over as they've got themselves the Supernova. They get the gun to X Nova. They've got the Spear, and Setsu just bought back. This is a big problem. The Electric Vortex comes in. They'll get the kill on the Spectre. Monet is dead and gone. 70 seconds on the sidelines with buyback. They've got four heroes dead. It looked like maybe they could have committed there on to Setsu and maybe even finish this game. They've lost X Nova, but that is it. 5,000 net worth lead here for LGD. And they're going to pressure through mid. Buyback available for the Spectre. See if they're willing to commit it. Just the TA alive. Pressuring two of these lanes. So we'll take the mid set of racks, we'll go for the top set of racks, Spectre holding the buyback. And Ball Lightning all the way to the back lines, looking over at September, getting the kill on the Phoenix. He's dead for 50 seconds with buyback. Spectre will finally be back alive, but won't have the haunt to work with, as well as the fact that the Abyssal Blade not even close to finished. Get themselves the top set of racks. Can they finish off of this? They're going to continue to stick with it. Again, Setsu, who just bought back in the previous, in or not in the previous engagement, but two engagements ago. The Blink Hookstomp comes through onto this storm. And now, can they get this to turn around? They've got the buyback coming in from September. They've got the Arena of Blood dropped down. And now it's going to lock up the Shadow Demon, who's hit with the Silence as well as the Spear. They'll get the kill on the Super. Now they look over Chalice. They're going to commit to this one. They've got the Infest over on the FY, and they might even look to turn and go back in. It might be the fake back coming in from LGD. They've got everybody up and ready to go. X Nova hit with the Spectral Dagger. Old 11 
will disengage, but they still got FY forward, and they're looking to potentially go in this. They've got the break. The ball lightning comes all the way through. They look over at September. Once again, the Global Science comes out from X Nova. They'll get the kill here onto the Phoenix, and now they'll call GG. It is LGD taking the series 2-0, just 31 and a half minutes in, and they will go on to face IG in the next series. So LGD taking the series 2 nothing over RNG, who looked to have control of that game for some of it. But LGD spiral out of control, 13-1-10 for Somnus. Chalice going 9-2-6. You've got Xnova at 6 and 18 who did a great job with his global silences and honestly with his pressure throughout the entire game. But FY was there as well in Old 11, despite some questionable arenas and some questionable plays still trying to fit in with this lineup does a good job of uh, locking down the shadow demon towards the end and locking down this win for lgd so they take the series 2-0 they'll be up against the ig coming up next i'm your caster b cop at b cop 92 on twitter follow me to know when i'm casting and i will be back with the next series in just a moment i appreciate you guys love you guys thank you so much for joining me we got one more series coming up for you next stay right there we'll be back hopefully soon <laughs>